When many families come to our Creation Museum, they're often surprised that we use dinosaurs as one of our tools to teach the authority and accuracy of the Bible. You see, most natural history museums use dinosaurs to promote the evolutionary worldview. So accordingly, we're producing many, many more resources on dinosaurs to explain what the Bible teaches about world history. Here's Ken's newest book, Dinosaurs for Kids, and what further prompted you, Ken, to, to write this book? Well, you know, Mark, I've found over the years that dinosaurs are used probably more than anything to convince young children that the Bible's not true, to convince them of millions of years and evolutionary ideas. And I have a real burden to get the truth across to them. And kids really uh, love dinosaurs. I think it's the monster appeal. You can see on the, on the front cover here that, that big dinosaur. I know when kids look at that, they say, wow. And for some reason, they're just so fascinated by dinosaurs. And I wanted to show them that when you start with the Bible, that not only can you explain all about dinosaurs, when they lived, what happened to them, but then you can use observational science to confirm that that is the right understanding of dinosaurs and to help them understand the Bible's history is true. That's why the gospel based on that history is true. And you know, one of the things that we try to do here at Answers in Genesis and the Creation Museum is to make sure we do things in a first class way, in a very professional way. Why should the secular world out there uh, always have the best? Why shouldn't Christians have the best when it comes to dealing with quality and because we're dealing with the truth concerning God's Word? Well, the illustrations so, here oh, are wonderful. You can see uh, in this particular book here, the illustrations are absolutely phenomenal. In fact, this is as good as any Thing you'll find. In fact, I think it's even better uh, than what you'll find in the secular books that are available on the market these days. Of course, it's from a totally different perspective. And I'll tell you what, we do do something in this book that you'll find evolutionist books don't do. And it's what we do at the Creation Museum as well. We actually teach children what evolutionists believe. We're not afraid of that. You see, you're not afraid to teach them about evolution when you know there's no evidence for evolution. And we teach them, of course, uh, from a biblical perspective. But they will also understand why evolutionists think the way they do. Well, Ken, you call this a children's book, but as I've gone through it, I think adults will get a lot out of this. Oh, too. yes. Well, even adults come to my children's programs that I do on dinosaurs, and they say they get as much out of them <laughs> as the kids, if not more. And what I did was this. You know, at the Creation Museum, we have a walk through what we call the seven seas of history. Uh, creation and then corruption and then catastrophe confusion that's Genesis 1 to 11 and then Christ cross consummation and so based on that history I came up with seven ages of dinosaurs and they all start with F uh, the formed age the fearless age the fallen age the flood age the faded age the found age and then the fiction age and we're living in the fiction age right now when children and mums and dads are told about evolution and millions of years and we're saying that's fiction. In fact, because this is based on the Bible, this is a non-fiction book. And it's not just giving an understanding of the dinosaurs, when they lived, what happened to them, were they on Noah's Ark? Yes, they were. Uh, most of the fossils of dinosaurs we find would say from the flood just a few thousand years ago. But also in here there are lots of facts about dinosaurs and about fossils. The different dinosaurs that uh, we've all heard about, it has lots of facts about them in here. Really, you could use this almost as a supplement for even a homeschool course on science or a Christian school course or use it as a home devotion book and teaching the truth about dinosaurs using God's Word. So this is a very versatile book and even though it says dinosaurs for kids, really, I, I, I believe you're right. Even adults uh, enjoy this book and certainly will get a lot out of it. And certainly it's for kids of all ages. Can we say that? Dinosaurs for kids, whether you're a young kid or an old kid, this book is for you. So the most asked questions about dinosaurs answered from scripture, but also from science.